Hey everyone. So, uh, quick, quick, funny story for you guys. Um, living in California and being younger, I have been offered weed quite a bit, uh, and I don't smoke. Uh, I don't drink. I don't like either of them. Um, and I've been offered quite a bit, but two stories stick out, and they stick out because they were offered by complete strangers. And these were some of the weirder things I've been through, but also seemed extremely normal for California. Um, the first one, I just moved, and I was at school, and I just got out of class, and I'm walking to my car, go home, and some girl stops me who I've never met, never seen before, uh, and she goes, "Hey, do you uh, do you have your own car?" And I was like. Uh, yeah and she was like oh okay okay do you uh do you smoke weed like real like all of a sudden got real quiet and creepy about it and I was like no like even if I did I, I wouldn't take you to my car because uh, I don't know you and you're crazy obviously and then she was like oh okay and just walked away never saw her again never talked to her again don't know who she is but it was like you don't know me I'm a stranger I'm a stranger walking to my car you don't know me. I could be crazy. I probably am. But seriously. You you don't know me. You don't just offer to get in someone's car and smoke weed with them. Like if they smoke weed, they're probably cool and normal. That's not a good assumption to make. The other one just happened about uh, about an hour ago. I was walking inside of my house. And a guy was skateboarding down the street. And I just kind of looked at him. And he skated over to my side. He's on the other side of the street coming down. He skated over to my side and, like, reached out his hand. So, let me see if I can... He's just, just like, mm, skating by, reaching out his hand. And he was offering me weed. And then you could smell it, obviously, as he went by. And I knew what he was doing. You could tell what he was offering, and then you could smell it, obviously. So, it was definitely weed. But it's like... People would just share that, but I don't know you guys. First off, I don't know you. I don't know there's something in it. I don't know, you know. I don't... You're a stranger. You don't just offer someone that. That's creepy to me maybe not creepy to you guys but it's creepy to me you can just offer to get in someone's car either like do you have your car like if i said yes like okay yeah, i have my own car yeah i smoke weed and then you came in and sat in my car and we smoked in my car you don't know me what if i'm a crazy person like that sounded so it was so weird to me when they did that but it's so funny how how nonchalant weed is and stuff like that is now especially out here in california i mean i don't know i don't know i know other states like colorado where it's legal washington where it's legal every state has it but Oh, it's just so weird. Like, you're strangers. You're just offering me weed. I mean, it's nice. It's nice of them. You know? They offer it. They offer to smoke weed. I, I don't like it, but it's still, it's still, I guess, cool of them. I don't think smoking weed is cool, but I think it, it, it's at least nice. I guess it was nice to offer. Uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, so those are just two funny stories I had that, about being offered weed by strangers. And by the way, I wouldn't take it. Like, even if I did do it, I wouldn't take it from a stranger. Like, they could have laced it with something or had something. I don't know. People do that shit nowadays. But let me know. Let me know if you guys have a story like that, you know, where someone offered you, you just offered you drugs, like, or any weird story where a stranger offered you something strange, like, not like in my, you know, not anything crazy, but if there's anything, if you have any funny stories, let me know.